Hey guys, what's going on? James here back with the income journey and in today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. We've done one of these videos in the past on Logan Paul where we took a deep dive kind of into how much money he's making off social media. And in today's video, I want to take a look at a different influencer in the fitness industry who I believe is probably a marketing genius. I'd go as far as saying he's generating over 300,000 free clicks per month to his website. He's absolutely crushing it with his digital product business and he's crushing it on YouTube. So I want to take a look at his channel, his website. We're going to estimate roughly how much money we think Greg Doucette is doing on YouTube and social media. He uses a couple of sneaky little tactics that I think are very smart to drive more people to his channel and ultimately right through to his cookbook. So let's go ahead and first take a look at his YouTube channel. If you don't know who Greg Deset is, this is him right here. Others know him as Dr. Greg. He claims he's not a doctor, but honestly, we're not too sure. This is his YouTube channel right here. He's just crossed 1 million subscribers with 1.05 million. And this guy is kind of like the meat Kevin of the fitness industry. He's uploading two videos per day. He's absolutely grinding it out. You can see here, you know, two hours ago, 21 hours ago, one day ago, he's putting in the work here, really working hard on pushing his brand and how he gets a lot of his views. If we scroll through here, he does a lot of tagging of other people. We've got Jeff Nippert here, another huge person in the fitness industry. He's talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's talking about, uh, I believe, Remington James right here. All of these different people. So he kind of has a, a, a like kind of model that he pumps out content you know he'll do a video one video per day on a person right and he'll talk about that person whether it's their fitness the routine are they natty or not all of this different stuff so he's got a formula down that allows him to essentially produce just unlimited content on his channel and that bit of content also gets ranked very well it does very well a lot of the times it's controversial and he'll get people talking about it he'll get people seeing it and then ultimately all of that traffic is funneled back to his info product so it's a really smart strategy that essentially gives him unlimited content to work with however this guy has been grinding for a long time if we sort uh, by oldest right here we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of his old videos he's been doing this for what nearly 13 years uh, and if we actually take a look at one of his videos where he's talking what I find extremely interesting is he's went out there and he's done everything he can to grow his brand. He was making kind of, you know, the, just these big powerlifting videos. He was a, a professional bodybuilder at one point in his career, and he was making videos around that. You can see here about five, four years ago, he started to try and move into kind of coaching and teaching people about how to get fit, about, you know, steroids and about what you should eat and all of that stuff. But if we actually watch one of these videos, if any of you guys are fans of Greg Doucette and haven't seen these older videos, you're probably gonna be shocked when I click this. Empty stomach cardio, also known as fasted cardio. So, as you can probably hear, that doesn't sound like the Greg we know and love. At some point in his YouTube career, he started using this extremely high-pitched, loud, screaming voice and screaming at the camera, and that really helped him grow his brand. It sets him apart from everybody else out there. It's something different. And a lot of the times on YouTube, you just need something a little bit quirky about you to stand out. And at some point in his career here, he changed that voice and he starts speaking like an angry parrot. If we just go back to his homepage right here and look at a video from a week ago, you'll see how he sounds now. Un freaking believable the value of this book it's mind blowing Go you can see here he's promoting his new book but that's how he speaks now i believe that is intentional and look i don't know maybe something happened to his voice and now he just speaks like that but i highly doubt it i think he's putting that voice on i believe i've seen videos in the past where he's just talking normally in the past year or so so this voice is like a hyped up version and you'll see a lot of youtubers do this where it's very you know in your face energetic on camera but when they go off camera it's like me i don't talk like this when i'm talking to someone you know who's sitting beside me you're a little bit more hyped up and he does this to an extreme and it sets him apart from the competition so that's kind of like the marketing tip number two that greg is using to help grow his brand so one he's using that unlimited content strategy he's got a little quirk about him just before we go ahead and jump into his website and how much greg is potentially making from his ebook we're going to take a look at one more thing he does to drive a lot of subscribers to his YouTube channel. So right here, you can see another one of my favorite fitness YouTubers who is Will Tennyson. Great channel. Definitely check him out. But you can see down here on a lot of Will's videos, on a lot of More Plates, More Dates videos, on a lot of other YouTube channels, Greg is out there commenting. And look, 
I'm sure he's commenting just because these guys are kind of friendly, but there's also a business sense in doing this. When he's commenting here, he knows that he's got his highlighted name. He's going to show obviously a lot of cross-pollination in the audience. They know both people. Greg comments here. He gets 2.7 thousand likes on a comment. His name's highlighted. People see that and they get curious. People who've never seen him before, they're going to click through again, driving traffic to his YouTube channel, which funnels them to his ebooks. This is just another nifty little strategy that he uses on his channel to go ahead and garner more views and more exposure so now let's go ahead and take a look at some stats on his website this is his website right here if we go to the home page he's released this new par 13 cookbook he previously had another cookbook and it is no cheap cookbook you'd probably expect like a cookbook to sell for seven dollars maybe twenty dollars on the premium end it's an ebook after all but he's selling this at a premium and he can do it he can command it he's selling this at 79 dollars and his like unique selling point is He'll give you meals that taste 80% as good with way less calories. That's kind of a different marketing angle than most people in the fit fitness industry out there. Most people in the fitness industry are marketing just kind of stuff that's not really true at all. It's like, oh yeah, eat six pizzas a day and get ripped to get this six pack, right? Well, Greg's kind of just took in the approach of, hey, this is it. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be real with you. It tastes 80% as good. Now, it's not as good as the real thing, but it's 80% there and that's pretty much good enough if you're actually committed to getting fitter, right? So that's the angle that he's taking. He's got that authenticity and that really makes people like him. He's why they hadn't done that and that garners trust in his audience and people are willing to pay this $79. And look, some of this food, it looks pretty damn good. He's got this little anabolic French toast thing. It looks pretty damn good. I made it one day, it was kind of nice. It's pretty good, right? So right here, you get 13 athletes, 42 recipes, and 130 pages of nothing but flavor. So tasty food that gets even tastier results. Support your favorite athletes and educators and get better at the same time. So I'm not 100% sure what the PAR 13 cookbook is. I believe he's maybe went ahead, uh, partnered up with some other fitness influencers out there. Will Tennyson, we got Juju Mufu over here. So they're maybe going ahead and putting in their recipes as well. So he's partnered with a lot of other YouTubers. Again, I think that's a good business move. I believe the book that he sold previously was just him his recipes that he's kind of come up with over the years of being a bodybuilder so right here you can see get your book now we're going to head over and it's just straight to like a shopify i believe this is either shopify maybe wordpress just straight to checkout there's no kind of like fancy funnel here there's no countdown timers there's no bs that you see like no click funnels landing pages that most fitness influencers are using and again i think this just kind of adds in 2021 people want to see authenticity and i think that's kind of what just the standard shopify checkout really gives greg here so you can just proceed to checkout obviously this is Shopify, we can see right here. And you go ahead, enter your info, get this ebook. So it's a very simple funnel process. There's no like email capture up front, sending me 6,000 emails. I might get an abandoned cart here and there, but it's not that aggressive marketing style. So let's take a look at how much traffic this site is actually doing. We can see here back in October, 177,000 visits and going right up to January, 2021 here, 380,000 visits. Again, January, huge months for the fitness industry. Obviously people are kind of new year, new me. They're buying into the fitness trend. They're getting on board and then February, obviously that just dips off. But then March right here, I believe that's when Greg released this new PAR 13 cookbook, obviously a massive spike in traffic for that. And we can see right here, he did 339,000 views in March. So from this data, it's obviously not 100% accurate, but we can go ahead and estimate how much is Greg making per month off this ebook. And again, it is just an estimation. This could obviously be much higher or much lower uh, than what we get here, but let's go ahead and run some numbers. So what I'm going to say is, you know, let's just go for the 200,000. It looks like he kind of does roughly 200,000 on average per month. Obviously some months are lower, bigger months, you know, at the start of the year are going to be higher, but let's just say 200,000. So if we do 200,000 right here, and I'm going to give Greg about a 0.02 conversion rate here, which is about a 2% conversion rate. The book is obviously quite a high price at $79, but also the people coming to this website know him, they'll like him. It's essentially warm traffic, so it's going to do better than cold traffic. So I think that Greg would probably be pulling in around a 2% conversion rate. I'm not 100% sure. He may be doing much better than that, or he could be doing, I've seen some influencers and their stores, I've seen some numbers on the back end of them, and it really, really shocked me when I seen I thought the numbers would be much better than like just a general, you know, kind of maybe a drop shipping store or, you know, just a general apparel store that maybe does like a 4%, 5% conversion rate. And some of these influencers are getting like 1%. But I think because Greg here has such a un kind of a unique product to something different, it probably does better than average. So let's just set 2%. I think that's, 
you know, conservative estimate right here. So let's go ahead and do 200,000 visitors per month times 0.02 for 2% conversion rate times the $79 that each ebook costs. And that gives us $316,000 per month on this ebook alone. You've also got to take into account how much is Greg making on ads on his YouTube videos. And this par 13 cookbook is not the only product that he sells. While Greg isn't like following the kind of spammy marketing click funnels methodology of, you know, landing pages and, and heavy emails, he does follow the kind of upsell ladder method, right? So if we take a look over here at coaching, Coach Greg does obviously personal one-to-one -one coaching. Obviously, he makes a lot of money, so his time is worth a lot, and it makes sense that he's going to charge a lot of money for that. You can see here, a 20-minute phone consultation is $500. Over here, for a one-time diet plan, $1,500. And a coaching package, so that I think that's one-on-one -on -one coaching sort of stuff, you're talking $12,000. You want to go to a year, $24,000. So he's got these big high ticket upsells that not everyone is going to take, but you're going to get some people who are really committed to this. They maybe want to be a bodybuilder. They know Greg's a real deal. They'll go out there and they'll pay this sort of money for it. To you, these prices might seem ridiculous, but to someone who wants to become a professional bodybuilder, getting coaching from Greg, who's been there, done it before, knows what to do, it's maybe worth it to them, right? And obviously it's not worth Greg going out there and creating coaching plans for $100 each when he's making so much money off YouTube and his cookbook. So he can charge a premium. The people who want to buy it can go ahead and buy it right here. So he's definitely got the kind of upsell funnel down. If you do want to go ahead and get some more one-on-one -on -one time with him, you can do that. I wonder on his calls, let me know if any of you have ever been on a call with Greg. Does he talk like a pirate or does he talk in his normal voice? He's also got some like simple merch and stuff here. I'm sure this is definitely not the main seller for him. I believe the cookbook is definitely dr driving the majority off that revenue and then over here is his cookbook 2.0 so this is the original book that he normally sells and it's 149 dollars so in fact we could go back and potentially revise this so 316,000 that was with a 79 dollar average order value i would say the average order value on the site is probably m much higher than that because he's only just released that new cookbook so if we go ahead uh, and let's plug in some different numbers right here let's plug in so again 200,000 visitors times the 0.02 conversion rate and then let's say his average order value is 110 dollars just because he's obviously released this 79 dollar one that's going to bring it down a lot let's times that by 110 that's four hundred forty thousand dollars per month we've got four hundred forty thousand dollars per month let's just cut that in half a lot of people say about the bounce rate so let's go ahead and times this by 0.5 that gives us two hundred twenty thousand dollars per month i would say he's making at least ten thousand dollars per month on youtube but we're just going to exclude youtube because i believe it's probably a much smaller proportion off his actual revenue so let's go ahead and times this by 12 to get his yearly numbers we're talking 2.6 million dollars per year and again i could be wrong on this this is just my estimates but 2.6 million i believe is probably way on the low end i think he's probably making a lot more than that because again you've got to add in his high tier coaching programs you've got to add in his youtube revenue he's maybe doing some brand deals here and there as well He's making a killing through these YouTube videos, but look, the man has grinded for years upon years for the last 13 to 14 years, and he's doing really well. He's got a really smart content strategy. I thought this was a really interesting case study of how someone can grow and make an insane amount of money with an info product. And you can do this in any niche. There's a lot of niches out there where you can sell info products. And I think a lot of people probably think, well, look, I'm not, you know, I don't have a million person following, but you don't need a million person following. If we just take, you know, these numbers into consideration, ration and kind of break them down 2.6 million again i think this is definitely on the low end that's with 1 million subs obviously i think greg monetizes his channel very smartly there's a lot of youtubers out there with a million subs who are you know i've heard stories of people with a million subs who are struggling to you know make youtube their full-time income i don't know whether that's like lifestyle inflation and they're just spending too much or they're just not making that much money because of their niche and their monetization strategies whereas greg here 2.6 million i think that's you know he's definitely on the high end of dollars per subscriber let's say but let's say you have a hundred thousand subscribers 2.6 million that's two hundred sixty four thousand dollars a year anyone can live on that that is more than good enough again cut that in half you got fifty thousand subscribers and you're making 130 thousand a year cut that in half you're making like seventy thousand dollars a year with twenty five thousand subscribers so again if you can monetize well there's a lot of fitness influencers out there who have fifty thousand a hundred thousand you know followers and they're not making anywhere near that but greg he's a unique product he's not just selling what everyone else is selling which is a fitness program 
He's selling a food program. And it's just a little bit different. It's nothing crazy or revolutionary. It's just a little bit of a different marketing angle. And I think that's why he does so well with it. And he monetizes really well. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of these types of videos where we go in, we take a look at an influencer out of your YouTube channel, getting insane amount of free traffic, how much they're making, how they're making their money. Again, this is just rough estimates, but I thought it was cool. Greg's doing really well with this. He's absolutely crushing it. Again, I just thought it was an interesting case study. If you did as well, hit that thumbs up button, hit subscribe if you're new here, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Feel free to go ahead and check out some of these other videos on the channel. You may like them, you may not, but go ahead, check them out, and we'll see you guys in the next one.